Yo, 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 everybody. It's International Master Danny Wrench, and this is Chess.com. And this is going to be another bullet brawl for everybody at home who's excited about that. You're welcome. And look who we have today, none other than GM Dretch. That's Grandmaster Conrad Holt, one of the strongest players we have in the live chess arena on a regular basis. To say he's good would be a massive, massive understatement. He's... He's good Hollywood. If there is a category called good Hollywood, he would define that category. And I mixed it up a little bit, played something unorthodox, and I know he's usually beating the pants off of me in every French we ever play. So I decided to mix it up in, in this fashion here today. My position is pretty good here. I make no guarantees about what that means for the future of this game, but currently I'm enjoying my position. I will say that. I have to like my position right now, don't I? Not that bad. I'll play g4 first. And then figure out a way to deal with this situation here. Still kind of a mess. He wants to put the bishop on b6. I see that, and there's not much I could do about that after the blunder that I made. But he hasn't moved yet. As far as playing bishop b6, I wonder why. Okay, there he goes. So I will pre-move, and I will take there. So again, as soon as I say I'm feeling okay about my position, I overextend the king side and make blunders, and before you know it, I'm in a completely lost position. Well, and he doesn't he doesn't want the exchange, because he anticipates I will have some compensation. Well, I am okay with that, Mr. Dretch. I am okay with that, to say the least. I don't believe that he played this as best as he could. A little bit strange, actually, the way he chose to approach the line. I'm still happy to have whatever compensation I currently have for the exchange. All right, I got to get off of this file. Let him take it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, really? Well, we've got to be happy here. He can't play this way. He can't play this way. Who knows what's going to happen now? Well, again, he can't really afford to play this way. The only question is, will I come up with enough in the time scramble, or will I blow it? So we will see, won't we? Nothing for him to write home about just yet. His position is still no bueno. But he's holding on. Like Donkey Kong, he sure is. I'll just sack this queen and make him move. And then take, and then shake him back. Wait, wait a second. I just beat Grandmaster Dretch. 2700 here on the server on this Bullet Brawl Sunday. Man. This must be my kind of day. Is this is the weekend coming? Is it around the corner, or, or are you just happy to see me? Right? Hey, is that a is that a winning is that a winning chess position, or are you just excited to see me? Well, I got a rematch, and I can't be, you know, stingy about it. So, the question is, will I win my normal best two out of three? You usually know, you all know that I tend to lose the second game, and then the best two out of three match is on, and this will be no exception if I end up losing to Mr. Conrad. Holt. But if I find somehow, some way, to hold my own in this one as well, then I might have just taken two out of three against one of the one of the I'm I'm one of his biggest fans, one of my favorite players, so he's super strong. Thunderholt, as I self dubbed him, my own nicknaming skills that I'm that I'm usually pretty excited about. The only two things I'm good at in life chess and giving people nicknames. That's pretty much it. Thunderholt is a stud. All right, let's see. I need a double rooks on the C file. Maybe I can get some compensation. If I can trade on C1. Okay, well, that's a pawn. That's a pawn. I, I'm not sure what's going on here. As far as whether or not I'm actually winning that pawn, this position still looks rather crazy and not so bueno for me. But I will... I guess I'll just take it. Oh, that was a horrible idea. I forgot that my knight at my... Knight on d6 was going to be hanging in the end of the line. But as so she goes, so does the game here. I have to take here. I, the fact that I got out of that only being down as much material as I am, I got to say I'm kind of happy. So, doesn't mean I'm super happy, but I'm kind of happy. We'll say that. He's going to go after the b pawn. I'm going to go after the h pawn and try to get some sort of quick idea here going. That's a little bit of a trick of Ruski right there. Okay, well, we'll push, and now we'll come around. What we need to do is just come over. The only chance I have right now is the fact that he really, I mean, in, in chess theory, shouldn't really win this game. 
Will he manage to win in bullet? I don't. I have no idea. But in chess theory, I think my position is totally fine. Well, we'll push here. Try to trade off. Oh, that was just silly. Now I just blundered away. Now I will. Now I should and will lose this position, chess theory or not. So that was kind of silly of me. I just f6 was a horrible move. But I liked my chances up until then. If that counts for anything. No, it doesn't really, Danny. Doesn't really count for anything. Almost doesn't count, as I very well know. Almost has never counted for anything. But we're still somehow surviving at this point. And I'm about to maybe, maybe, just maybe flag him, but not quite. Well, I'll take one and a half out of three against Grandmaster Dredge even to this point. That's the kind of bullet brawl we need to keep this party rocking, right? Doesn't look like he wants to play me again with the rematch. I guess I will send it and see what he thinks. Maybe he doesn't like his play up to this point. But I thought my position was good when I won that pawn on e4, right? I don't know what happened there. Notice whenever I'm playing, now that I'm playing a GM, I'm really actually curious about how well I played. <laughs> Before, I really don't care. Most of these bullet brawls are just a train wreck as far as chess skill. All of you know that. But okay, I think that pawn on e4 was fine, and here I should even maybe just play queen e8 instead of knight d6. I guess both were doable, but I'm going to mix it up again just a little bit further. I don't want to play the normal stuff I tend to play against him. We've played so many Frenches and so many Nimsos, it just gets boring on top of the fact that I would say that I like I like to have a style that would be similar to Conrad's, except he's just better than me. So sometimes it's easier to play somebody that's better than you, but plays totally different. Conrad plays a lot of openings that I do, he plays very similarly, but he just does it at a much higher level. So those kind of opponents can be kind of tough to deal with, to be totally honest. And now I'm already messing up out of the opening here. Well, we'll happily castle, given that if all we end up losing is a pawn out of this, we'll be happy because the position is still at least semi-dynamic here. We'll take this. For sure we will take that. Really, he can play this way? He can play this way? I have no idea that he can play this way. I guess he can. Uh, wow, that was some strange tactics that he just got away with. Who knew? Who knew he could play that way? I certainly didn't know, but he calculates a little bit faster than I do. Has information that doesn't come as a shock, right? Not any breaking news there, Danny. <laughs> Conrad Holt calculates faster than you. Way to hit us with some surprising information. Yeah, so he's calculating a little bit faster than I am, which is partly the problem here. Oh, I just pre-moved, assuming he was taking back, but he didn't take with check either. So it doesn't really matter, though, because I'm resigning. All right. Well, as I said, we got to at least play this thing out to a rubber match. I'm fortunate and feeling pretty good about my play right now to get into this position, and this is it, kids. This is where all the marbles happen, and I don't normally play the King's Indian, but I wanted to pre-move a little bit. I'm going to mix it up again, playing something that's not the most common. This is like a hybrid Grunfeld-esque style King's Indian. This is kind of all the all the fad, these all the fab, fab five, you know, all the all the rage, all the cool kids are doing it these days. Uh, though not necessarily the way I played it. <laughs> this doesn't look super great, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now because we don't have a choice. Again, breaking news, right? I've already blundered it, already played it, so. Not really a lot of choices as far as my options go here. I could have taken the c3 pawn, and I probably should have. Interesting. He believes he can hold on to that d7 pawn. Yes, he can hold on to that d7 pawn, because if I take, he takes with check, and the bishop on b3 unleashes itself, unleashes the rage. I like to call the bishops tucked away the ninja. The ninja gets to unleash its rage if I had taken that way. And as is the case, I, I blundered a pawn. Sorry, a piece. You know, the uh, the ninjas are like the piece that just sits there and waits hidden, right? Ninja. Get some. All right, well, I'm going to win the C3 pawn, so at the very, or C4 pawn now, but at the very least, that means I have somewhat of some kind of resemblance of a game to keep playing for. I wouldn't really call it compensation, but it's something. At least I can establish the pawn to A3. And if I can do that, again, the game is just not quite over yet. So that's what we're happy about. 
What I need to do now is find a way to get that bishop to b2 before things get super weird. I need to get my bishop to b2, and if I can do that, I can get this counterplay over here on the king side. Ah, uh, well, I just blundered it. Ugh, man, I actually found a way to almost fight my way back into that one. Well, that's frustrating. Thinking that I might almost have a chance. Oh, 95 is made. Well, you know what? We're going to have to tuck our tail between our legs, tip our hat to the better player here, and actually concede this bullet brawl on this particular Thursday to Grandmaster Dretch. Again, Grandmaster Conrad Holt, one of the strongest regular players in the live chess arena over on chess.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to know when these things are taking place. And for everybody else, I will see you around on the main site.